Heavenly Gifts Jesus Explains Vermin of the Soul Like Lice, Fleas and Bedbugs February 16, 1844 Jesus Reveals Through Jacob Lorber in Heavenly Gifts, Volume 2 So then, write down a few words, because you want it so, and you believe that without these words, the earth would develop a whole. I always sweep upon great and small, young and old, in every stature. And so, little worldly Martha, you too should listen to what I tell you on this day. Behold. Everything in the world passes away. Only one thing remains, and that is the pure love for me, and every deed springing forth from it. Once you will have this love, I will recognize and completely bless you. However, if you wish to receive this love, you must first cleanse your heart completely from every other love, which created all sorts of little and utterly void pleasures for you now. Look, for the mouth speaks what the heart is full of, and one recognizes the birds by their singing. So, just listen to yourself for a whole day what comes out of your mouth, and you will easily and clearly recognize how much of the most worthless stuff your youthful heart is filled with. And as long as the heart is not cleansed of such useless stuff, there can be no talk of a pure love for me within you. Look, you are still an impure soul, and you want to have a clean bed to sleep in. And you would be disgusted if you had to lie down in a trash can instead of a clean bed. So imagine, how much more disgusting must it be for me, as the most holy and eternal purest one, if I had to come and make my abode in an impure heart. But I don't want to tell you by this that your heart is actually a dwelling place for dragons, snakes, and vipers. Oh no, you are far from that. But look, lice, fleas, and bedbugs below the rubbish are also not very appealing. People are now full of lice, fleas, and bugs in their hearts, and they even consider such a mess praiseworthy. But I disagree with this view because I have never been a friend of such vermin. And you ask, but what actually are the lice, fleas, and bedbugs of the heart? Just listen to me. I will readily describe them closer to you. The lice are all kinds of silly, foolish thoughts with which the head is packed. These lice like to descend from the head to the garment, and there they become even more bothersome than on the head. In the same way, foolish thoughts often descend from the head into the heart and become embarrassing worldly desires. Look, these are the lice of the heart. When it gets warm and the rooms are unclean, the fleas develop. And it is the same spiritually with people. When they warm up their hearts, which are already filled with those impure desires, through these desires, this creates all sorts of vain and often dirty worries that itch and sting the heart and diligently jump back and forth and up and down. Look, these are the fleas in the heart. And what are the bedbugs? You see, where a house is not cleaned carefully, the bedbugs arise from the filth of the rooms and nest in all the gaps and disturb the sleeping ones with their stinging and their stench. It is the same within the heart of man, when he is animated to so many resolutions and deeds by all sorts of thoughts, desires and worries. These also smell and give the heart no more rest. And such resolutions and moods of the will are the bedbugs of the heart.
All of this can already be found in your heart as well. That is why I tell you today that you should be very attentive to yourself, and you shall get to know your own heart by observing your mouth, and then carefully cleanse it from such useless stuff, so that I can make my abode within it. Away with all of this, then I will come to you and make my abode within your heart. This is I, your loving and holy Father, who is telling and advising you, so that you will become a fairly pure and dear daughter to me, forever. Amen. <laughs>